testing one, two. Aiden, what you doing? What you doing, baby? You unboxing the PS5 today? Gotta go. Welcome back to 2020 Tech For You. I'm Joe as always. And uh, that 17 hour wait in line a few months ago, my son did. Looks like it paid off because this morning we were able to pick up his brand new PS5. This is my son's PS5 and he's gonna let me do an unboxing review for you guys. Uh, maybe we might get him in the video later. He's my oldest son, but I don't think so. Pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of videos, but just to recap, this one comes with the new DualSense controller. This one's the 825 gig NVMe M.2, so it has the faster load times. This one also is the 2.1 HDMI, so make sure that you have the wire that's compatible that says 8K on it. But if they do say it does come with a 2.1 HDMI already included in the box, so we will be connecting this to the Visio V series that we did an unbox and review of a month or so ago to see how it holds up on that TV. Because as of right now, it looks like only those thousand dollar TVs and plus are the ones that you can fully benefit from these machines. You still have time before you actually have to go out and purchase one of those more expensive TVs. And hopefully by then they have dropped in price. So what we're hoping for today, after the unbox, after a little bit of looking at what's inside this box, is that the Visio V series at under $300, 55 inch, it does have HDMI 2.1 ER. We can actually get the visual that we're looking for with our new consoles. So that's enough of me talking. I'm gonna start opening this up and see exactly what comes in the box. So again, this is our system. We had to pay for it, this was not given to us. So you're gonna get an unbiased opinion of the PS5. You're gonna see everything that it comes with. And uh, well, let's unbox it and see what we got. So you got one piece of tape right here. Just cut that real fast. And once you cut that one piece of plastic, It'll slide right out of the box. And let's see what we have here. So just a pull tab, pull that out, open it like this. It even has instructions to tell you how to open it so you don't rip you open your box. Lay it back on its side. Pull open here. And the first thing we're greeted to is the dual sense. We'll put that there for now. Our quick start manual. Some other stuff, the power cord. All right, take this out. We've got something else inside of here. We have the charger wire, which is type C. We have the stand. We'll check all this out one by one. Our HDMI cord, Let's put all this to the side. Ah, there she is. So yeah, not to tear up your box, that's pretty much how you do it. They made it pretty simple. All right, so there will be timestamps in the bottom if you want to skip some of this, but I'm gonna start off with the books. I'm not gonna go through each page, but this is your safety guide that comes with, and this is an installation guide. Basically, it's like a quick startup, just to tell you how to hook up your base, how to hook up your new PlayStation, things like that. So it does come with a power supply. Well, the power supply is inside the machine, but it comes with the plug for the power supply. It's the same one that came with your PS4, so nothing different there. The charging wire for your new controller, the DualSense, is type C. So that's pretty cool. So it'll probably charge a lot faster. And then the wire. So I've read that it is an HDMI 2.1. So we're gonna test that theory when we hook it up to the TV and we'll know for sure. So there's that. And just like uh, another channel, make sure you have a Swiss Army knife. Something to make sure you can put your stand together. You need a Swiss Army knife this day and age. So, let's get to this next piece. This is the stand. So, to my knowledge, there's a screw that goes in the stand that should be hidden away. Right there. So, you just pretty much right here, see this big thing? Turns. So, turn it and your screw will be right inside of there. You're gonna take this out later and decide either if you're gonna put it 
vertical or sideways. So if it's gonna go sideways, you do not need the bolt, leave it here. And if you're gonna go vertical, then you need the bolt. And there's actually another piece to plug this hole, but we'll get into that as we get to that part. Now let's get to the dual sense. There she is. You can feel it's a lot bigger when you hold it. Well, not a lot bigger, but just a little bit more. So this is your controller with your PS5. This is the dual sense controller. So it's like a tuxedo color. It's got black, white, grayish color going on there. It's not like pearl white or anything like that, but it feels good in the hand. I like the way it feels. And also that it has the mic actually inside the controller is pretty neat. So yeah, this is the controller. The haptic feedback as you pull back, you can feel the tension if you have a bow or something like that. But this is actually a very pretty controller. And now it's time for the PS5. So let's take this off. Let's take this off. Wouldn't it be funny if there was a PS3 in here? That'd be a crack up. No, it wouldn't. Matthew would be crying right about now. And there she is. And so if you wanted to place your PS5 like this, sideways or long ways, you'd get your stand. Here's your clips right here. And on this side of the PS5, on the back side, you're gonna notice the logos. See those logos right there? You're gonna wanna take the clips. And you're gonna wanna line them up with the two boxes on the outside. And you're gonna wanna push it in like so, just like that. And now, that's your stand. It's that simple to have your PS5 like that. No tools required, nothing. Just line up the two tabs with the two boxes on end to end in the back where your HDMI, your LAN cord, and your power supply go. What you need to do is back to this, turn this, take out the screw, place the screw to the side, Turn that right here on the bottom side of your PlayStation. You're going to see this little round circle thingy. You can use a flathead or a knife, but it just pops right out just like that, that easily. Then you're going to take the stand itself. Now that you have this like that, make sure that the cap, remember it was closed like this, open. Five. Here's the back side of your PS5. You see these two pieces in the back that you lined up if you were gonna go long ways? Take them and place them in there like that. Turn your PS5 this way. Take the screw, place it in. We're gonna be like a nameless other channel. Use our hard to use fill, uh, Swiss Army knife and gently tighten it together. Now listen to me. There's no reason to go Hercules or Incredible Hulk or anything like that. Just get it on there. Once you feel it, go a little bit more. Done, finish, it's on. Then you're going to take the cap that you took off. This is the cap that came off the PlayStation 5. And there's gonna be a little slot right there, take it pop it in there right there now you have your vertical ps5 As you can see, this is for data transfer. This is your Type-C connection on the front. That's your regular USB to charge your controller. That's where you insert your drives. And that's your power button and your eject button if you have the PS5 that actually takes uh, discs. So you would have the two buttons and I believe on the, uh, the PS5 version that doesn't have discs, it, it has just the power button. So yeah, Type-C 
for data transfers. With the Type-C, it's gonna be super fast transfer speeds. And just your regular, oh, it looks like a lightning USB. So even that will be pretty darn fast. So yeah, that's pretty much what's on the front. So on the rear, you have two USB Type 3s, a LAN connection, HDMI 2.1, your power supply plug. And that's what's on the back. And the controller is pretty much the same as the other controller button wise. Then you also have the mic, which is the new button. That's for your mic. And there it is guys, through the generations. And that's the PS5 towering above all the old PlayStations. Just so you know, you wanna find the HDMI that says eARC right there. That's the 2.1 connection in the Vigio V series. Sorry about the dust inside there, guys. I've had the TV for a few months now. But yeah. Okay, once you have your PlayStation connected power, HDMI to your ER connection, or look up your TV specifications so you know which one is the HDMI 2.1 connection in your television. Once everything's connected, have your wire plugged into your PlayStation 5 to your controller, and it's the lower button on the PlayStation to actually turn it on. That is pretty. And you'll notice the TV will automatically go to HDR10. So it's actually gonna tell you to connect the PS5 controller in different languages. Continue with the screen reader turned on. So you do get the option to turn it off, thank God. Turn that off. All right, so I want you to do Wi-Fi. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it straight into the internet. And just HDR. If you have a game disc, insert it now and we'll install it while you continue with setup. We do not have a game disc. Power options for rest mode. I'm gonna go with the optimized. Hit okay, we'll check that out later. This is all the stuff if you want to uh, read it, go for it, but you're probably not going to read it. Okay, now this is pretty much where it's going to update all the network features. I'm not going to let you guys sit here and go through all that. So I'm going to click this, see how long it's going to take. That didn't take too long. It was only about a minute. It took about 800 and some odd megabytes. So now it's restarting. Ah, so now it's install. Installing is very fast. If you came from PS4, PS3, this could have took a very long time. Let's hit our PlayStation button. A new version of the wireless control device software is available. Your content won't your console won't need to restart. Update. Updating the wireless controller device software. Alright. So you can also use the PlayStation app to easily sign in, go to the app, you can use the Q code. So all my son did was scan the QR code and he just automatically, it went straight and did this. So he didn't have to sign in here. He just did it on his phone, hit the QR code and he was on the system. And don't forget, there is timestamps down in the bottom. So data collection, limited data, confirm and continue. And welcome to PlayStation 5. And Aiden is here and he is tripping. And there's our home screen. So this is the PlayStation store. This is the store. We're on the online store with just a couple clicks and it's, it's, it's done. So this is the preloaded game. It's Astro's Adventure to teach you how to use your new controller. It's just pretty cool right here. This is your PlayStation Plus subscription. I guess the rest is pretty easy to tell. The remote play. Yes, because PS4 has a new app on it for remote play for your PS5. So you can play your PS5 off your PS4. All right, so let's get to what we want. Let's get to settings and let's make sure our TV is pushing out everything. Let's check this all out. Language, uh, this right here, HDMI device link. This is so you can use your TV remote. Cause look, I'm using my TV remote to go around. Screen and video, here we go guys. All right, video output information. So let's see, it's saying that we are at 3840 by 2160 as of right now. All right, resolution 2160, 
4K video transfer rate. And now we're going to go to our menu on our TV and we're gonna make sure everything here is set up properly. Because I remember a lot of you guys asking me about game mode and all that. So let's go to our menu. Hit your menu button. Go to picture. Make sure your picture mode HDR10 is in game in the top left. Then you're gonna come down. Let's take it off and warm. Put that on, cool. Go to down to advanced picture. Then you're gonna go down to pro gaming engine. Game latency, game HDR. So if you turn latency off, this would be for like regular video games, like, you know, fast RPG games, things like that. When you're gonna play like Call of Duty online, yeah, FPS games, then you wanna do on. Or you can just turn it to auto and let it do its own job. So let's uh, turn it on. HDR, this is for game mode HDR. This optimizes the picture quality for HDR games. So basically I just read what it said there. And that's how you get to your pro gaming engine. If you go down underneath advanced is input picture settings. If you go here, you will notice, look, when I clicked it, the TV is restarting to HDMI 1.4. I click it again, it's auto. Click it again, it is now in HDMI mode 2.1. Color space range is auto. And if you notice down here where it says, PC uses RGB, because you can actually use this as a monitor because of the low latency. So it makes a great PC monitor, which we'll check out in a later video. But that's how you get to your engine. Let's do it one more time. So on your Visio, press menu, go to picture, make sure it's in game mode, go down to advanced picture, go right here to pro gaming engine, and here's how you get to these settings. Now, if you go back, Go down to input picture settings. This is where you will find your HDMI mode 2.1. So right underneath all this stuff in picture is advanced picture. And there's your gaming back picture, input picture settings. Here's these settings. Now that those are set, we should be in, yeah, there's the HDR 10 popped up on the screen. This is a 2.1 HDMI cord that it comes with. Feel free to go out and get a better cable like Monster. Don't go out and give hundreds of dollars. That's all gimmicks. 50 bucks for about six feet is about the right price for HDMI 2.1, 48 gigabytes per second. You wanna make sure you see that on the boxes. That's how big the PlayStation is compared to Aiden. And that's the PS5 review, guys. As you can tell, she just towers above the rest. I mean, going from the original, guys, I remember purchasing this one back in the 90s and just seeing the generational leap going from Super Nintendo back then when I was younger to this, playing Resident Evil, it was, well, it was evil. Then going to the PS2, that was another great jump. You know, I, I'm really happy we don't have to worry about these little memory cards. And I remember complaining on the prices, but these memory cards, like the NVMEs, yeah. But at least we get a little bit more with them, I guess. And then, well, we don't have the PS3 because it's being worked on right now, it's in pieces. But here's the PS4 Slim. Here's a PS4. This is the Harley one. I got these stickers. And here's our PS5. Here she is. Oh man, she... <laughs> I feel like I just picked up all four of those at the same time. Make sure you use the stand. Even when you're gonna put it sideways, always use the stand. This is gonna be fun. Uh, in a few months, I'm not gonna say now because my son will kill me but I will be taking this apart. And thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're very thankful for our subscribers. 
And uh, thank you for guys for all the nice comments on the other videos. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget to comment down below if you received your PS5 today. And what do you guys think about your PS5? And uh, as always, late.